This video is brought to you by The Perspective Arts. Have fun being creative with art, and game fans and money along the way. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Perspective. Today it's just me. The site is off on personal reasons. And it's just going to be me for a while, so I hope you guys can deal with it. But what we're going to do today is take these pictures, these group of pictures, and we're going to make a larger picture out of them. The first thing we want to do is look at these pictures and find out if there's a story to be told, or maybe a story that we want to tell, so on and so forth. So what I want you guys to do right now is think of a story, go ahead and pause this right now, and think of something for this. What do you imagine with it? Because your idea might be different than mine, so what do you think you could do with it? Alright, now that you got that done and you've paused the video and so forth, or just continuing to watch, what I'm thinking is that we have we have pirates and a buccaneer, and we got some mermaids. So the first idea I had was to put pirates versus pirates since we have two ships and as cool as a picture would be, like a little war, they're shooting over the ocean at each other. I think it'd be funnier if they're fighting over the mermaids. Or they're fighting the mermaids, because there's only one but we can make more, fighting them for the treasure. So we can go either way. But what I'm going to do, probably a mixture of both. So I'm going to put both these boats against each other and I'm going to make them try to fight for the mermaid or mermaids and the treasure. I'll make the mermaids have the treasure. That should be good. We can call this island Mermaid Skull Island. So the first thing we need to do is take our island and add it to my already made backdrop. Boom. And of course this isn't big enough, so what we're going to do right now is make it bigger. Okay, now that I have the island to the size I want it to be, you might be asking, is that too small? Where's the water? And all that good stuff. Well, I'm here to tell you, yes, I need more water, and I need the extra space. It's small, but I do need to add water to it. Um, and since these are going to be the background drops of this, I might as well do that right now. So first, I'm going to line this up right here and make a square right there. And it's red. We don't want that. We want it to be blue, but I can't see anything, so let's send this to the back since it's going to be there anyways. And then what we're going to do is make it the same color as the water. There it is. And I'm gonna make it the darker color. There we go. Nailed it. Oh, even better. Okay, now we have it the same color, and now we have our ocean. It's not very wavy, so let's see if I can't fix that. Okay, and now we have our water curved. What we can do now is add everything in there. So what I wanted to do is put one ship over here, one ship over here. I'll add the mates to it. I'll put the treasure on the top here. I'll put some mermaids in here. So first thing we want to do is put our ships in there. You can't have a pirate war without a ship. And let's turn this one to reflect back to the other direction. There we go. So now we have the ship and it sort of looks like it's sitting above the water. We don't really want that. And also we definitely don't want the cannon out of the water or in the water. So what we're going to do is actually take it and send it to the back. Alright and like that it looks like it's in the water. There we go and we're gonna do that with the other ship as well.
And there we go. All right, so if you notice over here, we have this small cannon right there. And if we want them to go at war, we need all of them to have it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it, and then I'm gonna paste it everywhere. Okay, and now you can see that all of my cannons are in their proper space. So now they can go to war over the mermaids. All right, but before we do any of that, let's stay with the pirate ship and let's put some stuff on the ship itself. I know, it sounds crazy but let's go ahead and put some people on these boats. How about that? So this guy's definitely gonna be on the pirate ship with the pirate flag. He should also be on it because he's wearing red. This guy can be on this one and the old guy. Hmm, you know what? Story change, the old guy and the young guy are going on the island. Yeah, they're going on the island. They're going to be living there for a while. It's where they chill. They're going to chill with the birds. It's where they hang out. Oh yeah. And we even got a sign to prove it. Alright, this should be good. So before we do any of that, like I said before, let's go ahead and put some people on a ship. So this guy's going to be reused a lot. And we're going to have him on the pirate ship. Let's just do that now. Well, you might notice that this ship and him kind of don't, uh, they're not really going together quite well right now. If I send him to the back, he's going to be there. So before we do that, let's add some more people to the ship, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Alright, so we have a four-man crew. As you can see, I just copy and pasted them. Pretty easy. But what I'm going to do with them is make them look at least a little bit different, you know? So the colors of this pirate ship are orange and red. So we're going to try to keep it that theme. They have orange and red going for them right now, but what we're going to do is just isolate some of them and then change some of their shirts. And this guy, we're just going to keep him the same because, uh, yeah, no reason why not to. Okie dokie. So now we have our pirate ship and our pirate people. And all we have to do is take them all, make them a group, You'll see why, because after we make them a group, and now as you can see, I have all my shipmates, and they're all comfortably positioned actually inside the boat instead of just floating away. All right, let's go to fit. Looks good to me. All right, and we have our other boat, still without any people, so let's do that right now. Oh, and while I'm at it, I'm going to make all of these flags go in the opposite direction because the wind is blowing only in one direction, not two. Okay, and now we have our flags in the right spot. So let's add some people to the... Oh, they got a little starfish. That's cute. Never noticed that before. So let's add some people to it. Alright, so we're going to put this pirate, or buccaneer, on the back. On the top right here, because he is in charge. I know he's wearing heels, but you know, that was the fashion for the time. Don't blame me for it. Alright. And then we're going to add some more people. Okay. So we have our pirates, we're going to change the color of them, and we're going to put them in the back just like we did with the other ship. Okay, and now we have them all sitting in the correct place, and I even changed their hair colors. I took this guy's mouth away, he don't need no mouth. Uh, turn them upside down, you know, gave them a little bit of clothes, different types of clothing, and you know, like that. And I noticed that I have a little uh, crow's nest up here, which I'm going to put some on there. And I was thinking, maybe I can put this guy. Now I know what you're thinking, he's in a hammock. How can you make this possible? I'll show you. 
So if I copy and paste him here, transform him to be smaller, and now have him at a comfortable size, put him over here and let's isolate him. And you know what? Now we can play with this a little bit. And by play with it, I mean, let's take all this, let's ungroup it, and then let's see if we can't move this away. Oh, look at that. We have a nice empty hammock. Just delete these away. Now all we got is him. Some of you might realize what I'm about to do. Yes, he's going to be sleeping on his job, because he can. Alright, and from this point, it's pretty easy to see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to throw him to the back. Yep, pretty easy. There we go, he's just chilling. Alright, and now we have him sitting up here, chilling out. And let's zoom out and see what we got. Alright, there we go. Nice little war right here. So you are a creative person with your own imagination and ideas. Go to the Perspective Arts where you can be creative and use your imagination to be a creator and even earn real money along the way from others enjoying your creations. TPA posts five days a week different things that will get your creative imagination flowing. You know, a picture is worth a thousand words, and on Mondays a picture will be posted, like this, where you can create your own story that fits your perspective of what the picture is saying. On Tuesdays, icons and silhouettes will be posted that you can shape into your own picture, like this. If you love voice acting or verbally telling a story, on Wednesdays a paragraph will be posted and you can go from that to continue the story to something like this. The House of Terror. <laughs> Maybe you're more creative with music. On Thursdays a sound clip will be posted and you can turn something like this and do something like this. And for all those directors, or just people who like making unique and sometimes funny videos, on Friday a theme or themes will be posted, and you will go from something like pizza, pirates, and superheroes, to a video hopefully better than this one. Pew pew pew, pew pew pew, pew pew pew. Arr, voiceover man, you can't stop me this time. Pew pew pew. Pizza pew, pirate, pew. you've gone too far pew, this time. Bang bang. Ugh. Imaginary bullets. My only weakness. How did you know? <sighs> I'll be back. For the sequel. <clears throat> Enjoy being creative and earning fans and money along the way. Join the community of the Perspective Arts and see what perspectives are out there. Remember, your only limitation is your imagination. Ooh, now that we got all that done, let's see what else we got. Let's do something easy. Let's take this, let's add some treasure. Okay, there we go. I had a minor malfunction with my backdrop. It was linking in with my boat over here, and I can't have that happen. So now that we have that fixed, let's go back to the treasure. Alright, so I want this small. I want it really small. Because I want more than just one stack of treasure. I want two. There we go. Our two little chests up there. You know what? Let's put one up here too. Why not? Treasure Island, right? Alright, and now that we have this, I know exactly what I want to do. This guy, right here. And this tree. There we go. And then he's just hanging out in the tree. All right, then we got the two chests down here. We have him with his chest up here. You know what, we're gonna take this old guy. He definitely knows what's going on. And as you can see, he's looking down, right? That's right. So we're going to take this mermaid. 
he's going to be checking out the mermaids. So I'm going to have her here, the treasure, but I'm going to zoom in and we're going to play with that chest. Let's do this and this. We'll group them together so we can modify them together. We're going to take this hat, move it on this head. There we go. Boom! Now we have a princess. All right, and then we're going to change these ones. Okay, they're blue, and we have our little Ariel right there, and we're going to leave her blonde. And there we go. She has a crown and everything. So let's zoom on out. See how that looks? Looking good, looking good. So, now we have to add some extra stuff. We have the basic plot down. Oh, except for this. This is very, very, very important. Good to go. All right, got our mermaids and everything like that. Let's go back out. Okay, good. Our picture is finally coming to fruition. We have almost everything we want in there. We need to still add the treasure maps. I want them to have guns. I want them to also have pistols. Two of them to be exact. I need this board. So we're gonna take care of the island first. And then we're going to take care of the ships again. There we go. Now, as you can see, we have a piece of wood right here, and we have nothing on it, but I want words. So we're going to use this text box, and we're just going to add text to it. We want them to do different colors, we want them to do different fonts, we want them to do different sizes. Let's make it small, a little bit smaller. Font is very important. Right, I'm gonna go with the Baskerville Old Face. There we go. And I also need to change the color. And let's make the color white. And let's see if we can read that from far away. Yeah, close enough. Alright, so now that we have our picture like this, we're gonna come back over here and let's get this treasure map. We're gonna come over here, and I want both of them to have a treasure map. And to do so, we're gonna go with this guy first. Okay, I think that's good. And we're gonna have him hold it. Alright, so far it just looks like he's just directly in front of it. But if we select both of them together, and then group them together, we can isolate. And we can isolate this little thumb right here. Taking that thumb, and then just bring it to the front. There we go. All right, and now it looks like he's holding it, and it's in behind him, without messing anything up. I still like the way uh, he's just chilling on top of the boat. You know, he cares not. All right, so let's just zoom right out. There we go. So we got Mermaid Skull Island, we got the mermaids on the island, everything like that. I know it's a little bit hard to see stuff, but that's okay. Saved it real quick. So what do we have left to add? We're not adding the pen and quill, you know, and the bottle of ink. I don't think that's necessary. But what we will add where is it? The octopus! Definitely adding the octopus. He's huge, and he is after this guy. And he's going to be like, oh no! It's gonna be good. Alright, so he's here, but I still want him in the back a little bit, but I want to be able to see him, so what we're going to do is take this. There we go. Now you can still see the octopus or squid. And we wanted to definitely zoom in on this because this is right here, if you didn't notice it, is a problem. 
here we go. What? Exactly. That's not possible. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just try to send this one to the back. And hopefully it will not be there anymore. Okay, and there we go. Problem like solved. Alright, let's zoom out of this. Good side of what we got to see. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Everything's good, everything's good. We have some birds here. I definitely want to add some more birds, but before that, before I forget, I do want to add some protection for the island. And that looks good. So now we have the people and the beautiful mermaids chilling. They got their protection. Probably not going to be able to do anything. Um, but also we got the kraken right here, so that's that's not going to go well. Someone should really look out for that, which they will. Thank you for watching this episode of The Perspective. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe to see more. We upload Monday through Friday, and if you want to show off your own perspective, go to theperspectivearts.com, where your only limitation is your imagination. Links are in the description down below. Goodbye.